What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ricky and we are back with another video of Dead by Daylight. In this video, what I wanted to talk about is one of the many ways to evade killer's attacks. Now I know that some of the best survivors use the little move where they actually do a little rotation in front of the killer to avoid the attack. They do like a little circle and then they get away from the killer. I have used that type of evasion myself. But the problem that I have with it is that it's not that easy to do. And if you are not proficient with it, the killer will eventually get you. So, is there an easier alternative? Yes, but I'm not talking about dropping the pallet in front of the killer and stunning them. I am not talking about looping the killer. I am talking about being in open space and you know the killer is right behind you, he's on your ass and he's about to get you. And I'm also aware that a lot of you might already know this trick. This is in no way, shape or form unique to me, but it's definitely something that anyone can learn fairly quickly. The first thing you want to do when you're being chased by the killer and he's right behind you, you want to look back at him. Right before he's about to strike, you're going to fake one way and go the other. That sudden fake movement makes the killer react and strike early but the good thing is that you've already gone a different direction here it is again in slow motion watch as i turn my camera to see how far he is away from me once i feel he is close enough i fake right and immediately turn to the left depending on how fast the killer that you're going up against it recuperates himself from the missed attack you have about a second or two to keep running away haha <laughs> stupid clown here we have the same scenario where the spirit is chasing us in open space. I need some time to get to a pallet, so I do the same move. I fake right, go left, gives me about a second or two to make it to the pallet. So why is that important? As we all know, every second counts in Dead by Daylight. Every second that you're being chased by the killer is another second that another player is finishing up a gen for you guys. Just because you are not constantly repairing a gen does not mean that you are not valuable to the team. As a matter of fact, one of the best attributes that a survivor can have for its team is to be able to waste as much time for the killer as possible. Not only does this help your team, but it also helps you accumulate blood points faster so that you can get to that red rank that we all know we all want. One of the best things about being able to evade the killer is that if he chases you or she chases you for a certain amount of time, they'll eventually just give up. So not only did they not get to hook you, but they gave up and now they wasted all that time for nothing. Here we are working on a generator when we see the spirit coming. We're going to use the same move, but this time we're going to go in the direction that she came from. The reason we did that is because the generator was in our way, so if we had gone left and right, we would have hit the generator and eventually gotten hit. So yes, you can use this move to go in different directions. Here we have another scenario, where the spirit is coming towards us, but we can use the obstacle, which is the tree, to help us evade her. You can see in slow motion that when I see the killer coming, I pop my head out so that she can think I'm going in one direction, but actually go the other way. This gives me about a second or two to be able to get to the pallet and drop it on her face and make her feel really dumb. We use the same technique with the pallet, where we jump it twice, making her think that we're going to go in one direction, but we actually end up coming back on the pallet. Here we are again, evading her with the same technique. I really do believe that this is one of the easiest techniques to learn, and I hope that this little tutorial helps somebody out there. Maybe not the rank once, but anybody who is new to the game, anybody who has trouble getting away from the killer. That's going to be the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, if this was helpful at all, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you saw. And I appreciate you watching. Check out my other videos where I play a survivor. I play as killer. And I also have a couple of videos where I just troll around. But anyway guys, I hope you guys have a good day or a good night depending on when you're watching this and I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.